Professor Wool. Welcome to our introduction to Amazon Security Management Series. In today's lesson, we'll provide some tips on how to protect outbound traffic in an AWS environment. So, you have your cloud environment, you're using your AWS estate uh, to process data in your production systems. Uh, and if you attended the last class, you saw that uh, the way to do it is to use the Amazon security groups to provide filtering for the traffic allowed into those servers. So just a brief reminder, uh, a security group is really a list of rules and it sort of looks like this. You have your protocol, your port, and the source. So where the traffic might uh, come from. And I said that the destination is always implicitly me. It's always the server or the instance on which the security group is associated. Now this really describes inbound traffic, traffic coming from various addresses to the servers in the Amazon environment. What about traffic in the other direction? Traffic that's outbound. You need to protect that as well, and we didn't see that that was even possible. So it is possible. Amazon does provide you with a way to control outbound traffic, except that it's not very much uh, visible, it's not very prominent. Uh, and if you want to avoid data leaks and data exfiltration, which is really quite important, you need to control this outbound traffic and make sure that it is really uh, allowing only the traffic that you really need. So, as I said, by default you don't see these outbound rules. You have to edit the security group and select the outbound tab and then you can see the rules protecting and filtering outbound traffic. Now, if you look at the outbound tab, you will see that there is no source column. Instead of the source column, there is a destination column. And the source of each rule is implicitly me. So the outbound rules are always from the instance that the security group is applied to, towards other places. So the source is always implicitly me. Now, one of the um, reasons and pitfalls, really, for uh, why you maybe didn't, you were not aware that the outbound rules are there is because the default wizard that you use to define a new security group does not bring you to the outbound tab at all. You have to select that uh, manually and if you do, you will see that by default you get such a rule in every security group. You get a rule that says any protocol with any port to any destination is allowed. This is of course a very insecure rule that you don't want to have. So I recommend looking into your security groups, editing them, looking at the outbound tab and checking that you do not have such a rule. If you do, it's probably a wise idea to delete it and replace it with specific rules that really protect the data uh, and the traffic that you need. So you might want an explicit rule allowing DNS lookups to the DNS server that you are using. You might want an explicit uh, rule for allowing uh, NTP traffic to the uh, network time server that you're using and so on. So basically look at the traffic that really emanates from your servers to other places in the internet and allow rules just for that traffic uh, do not have, do not use the default rule that Amazon gives you because it's much too wide and insecure. So if you want to avoid data exfiltration and data leaks, the lesson here is to control outbound traffic and to filter it properly. Thank you for your attention and I hope to see you in a future class.